So, so the microphone's actually in a perfect place with you guys down there. Um, so we have a, a management consultant and a finance person, or previously, uh, those two traditional uh, kind of MBA feeder careers uh, there at the end. And I'd love to hear from you guys about being non-technical career people moving into the tech industry and what that was like, what you would recommend to people in the audience who may have similar backgrounds looking to make that pivot. Sure, yeah, I, I think from a finance perspective, um, it's even if you come from a traditional finance career or sort of that skill set, um, really a lot of what I've found useful is sort of being an athlete no matter where you come from. So the ability to take that sort of analytical mindset and that analytical thought process and apply it to different areas. Um, a large portion of the work I do now, you know, I might use sort of an Excel or a SQL background that I have, but uh, the day-to-day -day is really about challenges that, you know, could face someone anywhere. And so just having sort of that analytical mindset and the ability to dive in on something that is uh, Unknown how to do, uh, unknown how to build out, uh, and sort of just get your hands dirty. Uh, I think you see that sometimes in finance, um, but there's a, a tendency to sort of not want to dive in in that way. And so showing the ability to really be willing to do everything from answer customer emails to build out models uh, is really helpful and something that's really worthwhile in pitching you know, when you're trying to move into sort of startup tech space. Yeah, I'd actually second that. I, I did get, um, I remember when I did my MBA internship uh, at Facebook, I uh, had an engineer coming from California and uh, my manager at the time, she asked me to present to him. So I did my like, typical consulting slide deck, uh, you know, with like all kinds of uh, nice statements and, you know, it flows, is, yeah. images, yeah, like takeaway boxes. Um, and basically, as I was going through it, I see that he was a pretty senior engineer, he's like kind of spacing out. <laughs> and then at some point I actually stopped because uh, clearly something was wrong, going wrong. And, and I said, so what's, what, what, what's your impression? And he said, well, it, looks, it just looks like one of those NBA decks. I'm like, oops, <laughs> this doesn't sound like a compliment, right? Um, and basically going back to the question, I think on the one hand, I, I second John, there are many skills that I think are very, very relevant and very, very applicable in any tech company. Um, for me, it was less finance skills, it was more strategy. I did a lot of strategy because Russia at the time was a big growing market. Um, and actually, what you take for granted often is something very valuable and is a skill set that many people appreciate in tech company because they just focused on different things um, previously. But at the same time, I think it's very important to adjust your vocabulary and the way you present things. To, to the tech world, where things are much more empirical, where there's a lot of iteration, there's lots of kind of, hey, just show me the result first and then iterate rather than build out the strategy for five years because in five months things will change anyway. So I think kind of being sure that the skills that you have is valuable, but at the same time adjusting the way you present it to the audience is super important. 